David Nicholl. He was the Lib Dem parliamentary candidate for Bromsgrove at the last general election. He's a consultant neurologist. David, morning. What do you think of this then? Um, well, morning, Ali. I mean, we've actually looked at this um, across the country, as in the Lib Dem cuts have looked at this, and we regard this as a tax on caring, and actually the very health inequalities that led to us having one of the worst outcomes in Europe, you know, we're actually going to get worse potentially in that those people who can afford tests will be able to get it. And, you know, people who have to choose between, you know, do they get a test before seeing their gran uh, or, you know, can they afford, you know, food and things as well. So, mm. you know, in Bromsgrove, we looked at data, this is from the uh, UK Health and Security Agency, week beginning of February the 3rd, uh, there were, what, 7,400 people in Bromsgrove uh, potentially facing, if they were testing twice a week, it would cost them five, you know, just over five hundred quid a year. Yeah, that is a um, lot of money to find, isn't it? It's a lot I, mean, of money. I suppose, however, the ca the counter argument will be, David, from the government that they've been doing this for a long time, and it's costing billions and billions of pounds that the the, the NHS could be spending on other things. Uh, I know, but we're dealing with a new condition, and you you explained your personal circumstance. You know, in two minutes' time, <laughs> I've got a call at work, and I I need to know. You know, if I if I have a bit of a sniffle, um, and you know, how do I know I've got a cold or COVID, uh, and how comfortable would you be uh, being treated by me or your, you know, your mum or dad be treated by me if I had COVID? Uh, and we haven't even got that level of clarity, um, because it's not as if you just pass that budget back to the NHS, so it's an extra cost. Do you think people are just going to stop testing? Is, is that the long and short of this? I think mean? they'll stop testing it, and and as a consequence of that, is that that actually prolongs the pandemic? Yeah. Um, David, good to speak to you. Um, like I said, I, th I think there is quite a lot of stockpiling going on because the people we've spoken to this morning have, have, have struggled to get them. But yeah, 